The love of TV series cannot be described in words. It is not surprising that year after year the popularity of this newest art form is growing at an incredible rate. First and foremost, due to more and more unusual plots, which are not limited by any limits, including moral ones. This is incredibly captivating for viewers, who follow the development of the stories and characters closely. As a result, this series boldly takes advantage of this opportunity, successfully attracting the attention of a large mass of people. Therefore, and the rating of waiting for a new episode is quite high. And it should be given credit, this does not happen from nothing, but quite deservedly. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see a new episode on January 30th. All viewers are now in suspense and waiting for the soonest release of the series. What awaits the characters, and what tests will fall to their lot? No doubt the series will not leave anyone indifferent. We can only speculate and theorize, and hope that all this will end with a happy ending for all our favorite characters. And to brighten up our anticipation for the new episode, we offer a review of other excellent and not inferior in the Heat of Passion series. The Sopranos is an American crime drama television series created by David Chase. The story revolves around Tony Soprano, a New Jersey-based Italian-American mobster, portraying the difficulties that he faces as he tries to balance his family life with his role as the leader of a criminal organization. Tony Soprano has a panic attack that prompts him to see a psychiatrist. The pilot was ordered in 1997, and the show premiered on HBO on January 10, 1999. The series ran for six seasons totaling 86 episodes until June 10, 2007. The Sopranos is widely regarded as one of the greatest television series of all time. It has been the subject of critical analysis, controversy, and parody, and has spawned books, a video game, soundtrack albums, podcasts and assorted merchandise. Several members of the show's cast and crew were largely unknown to the public but have since had successful careers. Since its inception in 1999, the series has become a cultural phenomenon, gaining wide popularity and critical acclaim. This was due to the innovative approach to the description of the life of the Mafia, the American family, the problems of the Italian-American community in the United States and the boundaries of what society considers morality. The first episode was very exciting. At a family picnic, Tony collapses. In the hospital, during the examination, it turns out that this is not a physiological deviation, but a psychological one. On the recommendation of his doctor neighbor, Bruce Cusimano, Anthony goes to see psychiatrist Jennifer Melfi. Tony cannot tell all the details of his life due to the fact that his story is connected with crime. Moreover, Dr. Melfi immediately warned him that if she learns anything about even a possible harm to a person, she is legally obliged to report this data to the police. In the process of therapy, some details of Anthony's life are revealed, his attitude to life, to the family, to children and to his mother, which makes him very nervous, because no matter what he does, no matter how he behaves, his mother Livia always remains dissatisfied with him. Tony carefully hides the fact of visiting a psychotherapist from his friends. Magnificent Century is a Turkish historical fiction television series. It is based on the life of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, the longest reigning sultan of the Ottoman Empire, and his wife Hurm Sultan, a slave girl who became the first Ottoman Hasiki Sultan. It also shines the light on the era known as the Sultanate of Women. The show generated controversy and complaints from some viewers, for what they referred to as a disrespectful, indecent and hedonistic portrayal of the historical sultan. Turkey's radio and television Supreme Council, claimed they had received over 70,000 complaints about the show and warned Show TV to publicly apologize for wrongly exposing the privacy of a historical person. The Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan condemned the show as an effort to show our history in a negative light to the younger generations. An MP for the Governing Justice and Development Party, Oktay Saral, went further, threatening to outlaw the misrepresentation of historical figures. The series is popular in many countries around the world. In Greece, the series has become quite popular for people of all socio-economic backgrounds and ages. Many Greek viewers enjoyed the visuals and oriental decorations present in the show, as well as the cultural proximity and historical ties between the two countries. It has become so popular that Bishop Anthemos of Thessaloniki and the Golden Dawn Party condemned the show and urged Greeks not to watch it. In the Republic of North Macedonia, 
Turkish series have become so popular, that the Macedonian parliament has moved to ban Turkish soaps to reduce the Turkish impact on Macedonian society. Turkish series will gradually be removed and replaced by national programs, according to a 2012 bill. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23, other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. Misfits is a British science fiction comedy drama television show, about a group of young offenders sentenced to work in a community service program, where they obtain supernatural powers after a strange electrical storm. The show premiered on November 12, 2009 and concluded on December 11, 2013 in its fifth season. The show is filmed in South East London, mostly on location around the Southmere Lake in Thamesmead, including the signature shot of the four multi-story buildings from the roof of the Lakeside Centre and Bexley College. The first series was accompanied by an online viral marketing, on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. For example, in a British first, the characters Simon and Kelly tweeted during the initial transmission of each episode, with the content of the tweets provided by writers Sam Leifer and Ben Edwards, under the direction of lead writer Howard Overman and executive producer Petra Fry. British reviews were positive. The Times gave it 4 out of 5 stars, calling it a new union, salty British street humor with whiz-bang special effects. The Irish media were also impressed with the show. The Evening Herald called the debut episode dark, hilarious, exciting and beautifully produced. Silicon Valley is an American comedy television series. The series, a parody of Silicon Valley culture, focuses on Richard Hendricks, a programmer who founds a startup company called Pi Piper, and chronicles his struggles trying to maintain his company while facing competition from larger entities. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its airing, with praise for its writing and humor. The show has been nominated for numerous accolades, including five consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Comedy Series. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Richard Hendricks is a low-level programmer with futuristic internet giant Huoli. He is often taunted by his more successful work colleagues, and his ideas are dismissed by egotistical entrepreneur Ehrlich Bachmann, who owns the tech development incubator where Richard lives with fellow programmers Nelson Baghetti, Bertram Guilfoyle and Dinesh Chugtai. However when Huoli stumbles upon the music copyright service that Richard is working on, entitled Pied Piper, they discover that hidden within the useless application is the best file compression algorithm in the world, and news spreads quickly. 
Eventually Richard is caught between a $10 million buyout by Hooli CEO Gavin Belson and a $200,000 investment from eccentric billionaire Peter Gregory, he must decide whether to give up his program to the highest bidder, or to take the investment and create a business out of it himself. After having a panic attack and vomiting, Richard runs into Peter's assistant Monica, who tells him that she believes in him and his idea. Richard decides to take the investment, and run the business himself. Co-creator and executive producer Mike Judge had worked in a Silicon Valley startup early in his career. In 1987, he was a programmer at Parallax, a company with about 40 employees. Judge disliked the company's culture and his colleagues and quit after less than three months, but the experience gave him the background to later create a show about the region's people and companies. Silicon Valley has received critical acclaim since its premiere. In January 2017, in an audience interaction by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, Gates recounted the episode in Silicon Valley in which the protagonists try to pitch their product to various venture capitalists, saying it reminded him of his own experiences. Supernatural is an American dark fantasy drama television series created by Eric Kripke. Starring Jared Padalecki as Sam Winchester and Jensen Ackles as Dean Winchester. Before bringing Supernatural to television, creator Eric Kripke had been developing the series for nearly 10 years, having been fascinated with urban legends since he was a child. He had originally envisioned Supernatural as a movie. During its first season, the show received generally mixed critical reception, but the reception from critics has grown more favorable as the series progressed with subsequent seasons receiving generally positive reviews from critics. Being a cult series, Supernatural has garnered a dedicated fanbase. The first season consists of 22 episodes. It premiered on the WB on September 13, 2005. The series follows the two brothers as they hunt demons, ghosts, monsters, and other supernatural beings. After their mother's death in a suspicious fire that burns down their house 22 years prior, Sam and Dean Winchester's father goes missing during a hunting trip. As a result, Dean tracks down Sam at Stanford University and they begin to live a life on the road, in Dean's black 1967 Chevrolet Impala with Kansas license plates. However, their father is not a typical hunter. He hunts supernatural creatures like ghosts, vampires, and spirits, and has trained his sons to do the same. Along the way, Sam and Dean save innocent people, fight creatures and ghosts, and collect clues to their father's whereabouts. Sam begins to mysteriously develop psychic abilities and visions as they travel. Breaking Bad is an American neo-western crime drama television series created and produced by Vince Gilligan. The series stars Brian Cranston as Walter White and Aaron Paul as his accomplice Jesse Pinkman. It was set and filmed in New Mexico, and tells the story of Walter White, an underpaid, overqualified, and dispirited high school chemistry teacher who is struggling with a recent diagnosis of stage 3 lung cancer. Walter turns to a life of crime, partnering with his former student Jesse Pinkman. Since its conclusion, the show has been lauded by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. As the series progressed, Gilligan and the writing staff of Breaking Bad made Walter increasingly unsympathetic. Before completing the script, Gilligan revealed that it was difficult to develop the character of Walter White because the character was getting darker and more morally conflicted. Writing music for each episode takes about a week. Each episode's soundtrack was typically led by meetings between the composer, music supervisor, and music editor with Vince Gilligan and the key people involved in the episode's creation. They discussed where the music should be and where not. The first season received numerous awards and nominations, including four Primetime Emmy Award nominations with two wins. Brian Cranston won for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series and Lynn Willingham won for Outstanding Single Camera Picture Editing for a Drama Series. The first season of the series, starting with the pilot episode, introduces the viewer to the life of Walter White, a 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher from the city of Albuquerque. In addition to teaching, he is forced to work part-time at a car wash to support his pregnant wife and disabled son. However, Walter has to rethink his usual lifestyle when he is diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer. Once Upon a Time is an American fantasy adventure drama television series that aired for seven seasons on ABC from October 23, 2011 to May 18, 2018. 
The action alternates between two main settings, a fantastical world where fairy tales happen, and a fictional seaside town in Maine called Storybrooke. The real-world part of the story unfolds with the characters of Emma Swan and her ten-year-old son, Henry Mills. Henry discovers the other people of the town are fairy tale characters. The audience is shown the backstory of the town's people as fairy tale characters, in conjunction with their unfolding stories in the real world. Most of the show's characters are extracted from famous fairy tales of the brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, popular Western literature, folklore, Arthurian legend, and Greek mythology, as well as original Disney characters from the Walt Disney Company. The core themes of the show are hope and optimism. For the first six seasons, the series is set in the fictional seaside town of Storybrook, Maine, in which the residents are actually fairy tale characters that were transported to the real world town and robbed of their memories. Adam Horowitz and Edward Kitsis conceived the show in 2004 before joining the writing staff of Lost, but wanted to wait until that series was over to focus on this project. Eight years before the Once Upon a Time pilot, Kitsis and Horowitz became inspired to write fairy tales out of a love of mystery and excitement of exploring lots of different worlds. They presented the premise to networks, but were refused because of its fantastic nature. From their time on Lost, the writers learned to look at the story in a different way, namely that character has to trump mythology. Miracle Workers is an American anthology comedy television series created by Simon Rich. It is based on Rich's writings, with each season being based on a different work. Miracle Workers premiered on February 12, 2019, with its seven-episode first season. The first season follows Craig, a low-level angel responsible for handling all of humanity's prayers, and Eliza, a recent transfer from the Department of Dirt. Their boss, God, has pretty much checked out to focus on his favorite hobbies. To prevent Earth's destruction, Craig and Eliza must achieve their most impossible miracle to date. Alongside the initial series order announcement, it was confirmed that Daniel Radcliffe and Owen Wilson would star in the series. Simon Rich back when he wrote the book had high hopes that someday it would be filmed, but no one seriously believed that anyone would be able to recreate such a huge world on the screen. Daniel Radcliffe was a fan of the books even before the adaptation and was one of the first to join the cast of the series. At the same time, Simon greatly admired Daniel as an actor. Radcliffe is also an excellent producer, he helped the project in every way and took a lot of different creative decisions, from finding designers to the choice of the cast. In the early stages of script development, Owen Wilson was in the cast. But after the actor saw the final drafts of the script, his opinion disagreed with the screenwriters about his character. So he was replaced by Steve Buscemi. The idea of the creators was that God was flawed and vulnerable, just like the people he created. They wanted to see a character who is sometimes reckless and irrational. That's the kind of God Steve would play. Fargo is an American black comedy crime drama television series created and primarily written by Noah Hawley. The show is inspired by the 1996 film of the same name, which was written and directed by the Cone brothers, and takes place within the same fictional universe. The Cones were impressed by Hawley's script and agreed to be named as executive producers. The series premiered on April 15, 2014. Each season is heavily influenced by various Cone Brothers films, with each containing numerous references to them. The first season, set primarily in Minnesota and North Dakota from January 2006 to February 2007 and starring Billy Bob Thornton, Allison Tolman, Colin Hanks, and Martin Freeman, received wide acclaim from critics. It won the Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Miniseries, Outstanding Directing, and Outstanding Casting, and received 15 additional nominations including Outstanding Writing, another Outstanding Directing nomination, and Acting nominations for all four leads. In 1997, a pilot was filmed for an intended television series based on the film. Filming of the first season began in Calgary, Alberta, in late 2013 and concluded in 2014. The first season garnered eight Primetime Emmy Award nominations. The first season of Fargo received critical acclaim. It currently holds a Metacritic score of 85 out of 100 based on 40 reviews, indicating universal acclaim. Lost is an American drama television series that aired on ABC from 2004 to 2010, 
over six seasons, comprising a total of 121 episodes. The show contains elements of supernatural and science fiction, and follows the survivors of a commercial jet airliner flying between Sydney and Los Angeles, after the plane crashes on a mysterious island somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. The story is told in a heavily serialized manner. Episodes typically feature a primary storyline set on the island, augmented by flashback or flash-forward sequences which provide additional insight into the involved characters. Developed as a television adaptation of the 2000 Tom Hanks film Cast Away, Lost was created by Jeffrey Lieber, J. J. Abrams, and Damon Lindelof, who share story writing credits for the pilot episode, which Abrams directed. Throughout the show's run, Lindelof and Carlton Cuse served as showrunners and head writers, working together with many other executive producers and writers. Due to its large ensemble cast and the cost of filming primarily on location in Oahu, Hawaii, the series was one of the most expensive on television, with the pilot alone costing over $14 million. Lost has regularly been ranked by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. The first season had an estimated average of 16 million viewers per episode on ABC. During its sixth and final season, the show averaged over 11 million US viewers per episode. Lost was the recipient of hundreds of industry award nominations throughout its run and won numerous of these awards, including the Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series in 2005. The plot of the first episode of the first season turned out to be very interesting. Oceanic Airlines Flight 815, a commercial airliner flying from Sydney to Los Angeles, hits turbulence and breaks apart in mid-air and crashes on a deserted tropical island in the South Pacific, with 48 survivors of the initial crash. Mysterious roars are heard from the jungle and trees are found knocked over. Jack, Kate and Charlie set out into the jungle to find the cockpit of the airplane so they can send out a distress signal using the plane's transceiver. They also find the pilot, who survived the crash and informs them that the plane had been steered more than a thousand miles off course before it crashed, and thus any rescuers would be looking in the wrong place.